Welcome, and Flame is a TCL20 5G, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now obviously you can see that the phone right here is locked uh, in two different ways. One is the uh, pattern, and the second one would be using the Google account. Now you can unlock it using either one of those, but assuming we don't know any, we're gonna back out to the first page. Now before you do, do make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, as you can see I am. And from here, you're gonna back up to right over here. Change the language out to any kind of language that is right at the bottom. So anything last language to up to what is it like Greek, Russian? Okay, so there's Greek. I believe Turkey, my, Turkish might work too. I think that is it. Uh, so anyway, select the language, anything basically from either Greek or one above down should work so I select Greek right here and from there you want to progress through the setup once more now you want to tap on basically anything that gets you further so if you selected a language that you don't know you can simply follow the same thing that I'm pressing so so once you have the Google right here uh, verification page Tap on field and this will bring up a keyboard and as you can see on the keyboard you should have this globe icon. Now there is a chance uh, sometimes that this will not show up and if that is the case for you, go back to the first page, change it to the uh, some kind of other language again and get back here. And once you see the globe icon, you want to hold it and start off by selecting QWERTY as the first option, then hold it again and go to language settings which is this text below those two options then select add keyboard at the bottom and choose any keyboard that does not have an arrow so things like here this option this as so you can see there's a couple with an arrow you can also scroll down so select one without an arrow and then select add button and as you can see we have now added a third language right here so once you see three options go back to the first page once more and change the language to your desired language, which for me is English. And again, we're going to progress through the setup once again. And again, tap on a field, hold the globe icon, and go to language settings, add a keyboard, and this time around you're looking for a keyboard with an arrow. So scroll down till you see one. As you can see there is one and then you want to tap on three dots go to help and feedback and here you can type in two letters M O, and this will bring up a suggested option use morse code and I select it tap on a video and once it loads up it will give you a three dot option right here so I'm gonna click on it and then select watch later so from here uh, we're gonna Select accept and continue and no thanks and you want to now tap right at the top and type in hard reset that info. Like so. Go. And once it actually loads up, you then want to tap on those three bars once you select this. So three bars and then navigate to the download category and in the download search bar you want to type in Android 7.1.2. Like so. Search. And this will bring up only one option, as you can see right here, FRP Bypass Android 7.1.2 and 10. So select Download, scroll down, and click on Download once again. Confirm that you want to download it. It gives you right now and for that it's downloading details, give it a second and it should switch to open. Now I click on details just so I can see how quickly it's downloading and how far along it is. So, let's see, in a second we should get a pop-up right here. There we go. So you can select open from here by cl simply clicking on it. Now this will disappear in about a couple of seconds, I believe. 
Yep, and also it disappears, I think, when you touch the screen. Oh, there it is. So anyway, uh, let's select open. And then before we can actually install it, we need to go into the settings and select the box right here, allow from this source. Go back and now we can select install. Now, once this is done installing, simply click done. And then right at the top, you want to now type in a hard reset that info slash bypass. Now I did select copy this option right here and I'll just paste it and remove the thing that I don't need. There you go, hard reset info slash bypass. As you can see, there it is. Now, if you need a moment to write it down, do pause the video. And once you're on this site right here, scroll down and you'll see settings. Simply click on it and this opens up the uh, phone settings without needing to download anything. So we're gonna start off by selecting apps and the notifications, which is, we have actually just apps. Then you wanna select view all 50 apps, tap on it, the, the three dots and then show system. And now we're looking for Google Play services. So simply scroll down to, okay, we got G, Google Play services, so there it is. You wanna click on it and then choose disable and then disable app and then go back and then select Google Play Store and do the same, disable, disable app. So once you have disabled both of those, you wanna go back, back once more. And once you're on the settings page right here, then scroll down to sit and settings about accounts. Now, additionally, before I tap on it, I will mention that if you manage to click uh, back too many times, you'll get taken to right over here. So to get back to the settings app, simply click on it once more and it will reopen your settings. So anyway, let's now continue selecting accounts, choose add account and then select Google. And as you can see, this launches the uh, FRP bypass app that we have installed right before. So I'll select continue and it will probably crash a couple times. Don't worry, there it is. Um, it doesn't really matter anymore because this app allowed us to have the option that you can see right here. Without the app, you cannot log into Google at all. So in here, simply log in with your account. If you don't have one, you can create it. Uh, I wouldn't use this button right here. Never used it, uh, don't know how it works. Uh, if you need to create an account, I do recommend you to do it on your computer or some kind of other device and then you, once you create it, use it to log in here. Uh, but you can also use your existing account, which is what I'll be doing. So, there we go. And now I'm going to put in my password, so let me move it off the screen. And there we go, as you can see it logged in. And you can see the account right here, which I have used to log in. So it's hard reset info one, select agree. And there it is, so it's added now. So let's go back and go back to the apps so we can re-enable the two apps that we have disabled. Oh, a little bit too far. There we go. So let's select the Play Store, enable, go back, choose Play Services, enable, and there we go. So we have now enabled both of the apps and to continue now, all we need to do is hold the power key and select Restart. So as you can see, we're now back in the setup screen. So let's simply progress through the setup this time around. And uh, once you do, uh, you will see a difference uh, right here. It should be right about after this page. There we go. As you can see, it tells us account added. I have not added anything apart from, well, the account that I have logged in. Uh, but this is the previous page that I was telling us that we need to verify uh, the previous user so that was a pattern or Google account and now it's just giving us info hey account added cool you can progress further so let's do so 
Now, before you click off the video, I will mention that at this moment that the device is still locked, even though it's telling us that account was added, uh, still the old one that was blocking us is still present on the device. And if you would reset the device through, as an example, recovery mode, the device would go back to being locked. So we're gonna simply progress through the setup right now, skip everything that we can, and I'll show you how to completely remove the old account. So once you gain access to the home screen, once you gain access to the home screen, simply open up settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset, factory data reset and once you select reset phone and choose erase everything this will begin factory reset now doing it through the settings will remove every kind of account and protection that was set on this device before and basically therefore unlock itself now you will be taken back to the setup screen uh, but at that point you can set, set up your device however you like it it's going to be completely up to you so that is how you bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.